I think Gateway is really unique. I feel like I can be the best I can possibly be here. Sometimes at public schools, there are students that aren't serious about their education, that don't really care, that are there because they have to be. Here, it's more like they're serious about their education and they're going to be serious about their work. So you get to work with these people that are serious just like you are and you get to get further academically than you would at a public school. That is definitely different from other schools. I mean, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses and say I'm not, I may not be the best at math, but someone else in my cohort is, they could definitely help me out with that. Say if I was better at social studies, I could help someone in my cohort who was lacking in that. Everyone here really focuses on their assignments. Some public schools, they the kids can just kind of goof off, get away with it. Here, we it's stricter, so we get the assignments done. And since it's all online, it's, there's never an excuse. We're in our fifth year. And some of you have been here three years, four years. And um, you can see that we've got a lot of temporary modular buildings. When you look around and you think of what we really need for facilities, what, what do you think is some of the priorities? Um, if, if you saw us building something next, what would you like it to be? Well, start on the, the academic buildings, of course. And uh, we do need a track, because right now we're still running around in the dirt. I think we need new academic buildings and new cafeteria, because we're a triple play right now. Yeah, cafeteria would be nice, some, some place you can eat that's ours. A bigger art room would be great because we all kind of like turn around and we don't have enough room to put like dried paintings and stuff like that, so that'd be nice. In fact, that is in the plans for the Learning Center, yeah. And you can all see that on the website. You can see the Learning Center floor plans. You can see how big the art room's going to be. So that's really important. We're really into the arts, too. Anything else on facilities? I was in theater last year and I loved it, but we never had anywhere to rehearse the lights or anything. So at the actual play, we had no clue what we were doing. Yeah, that'll be one of the rooms we'll have too. And I think the performing arts, in our longer range plans, we do have a performing arts center, which will be like a dual purpose building, which is a place we can put on you know, shows like that. We believe that giving back to our kids' education is important. You know, the ISDs are able to use our real estate tax dollars to fund capital improvements for their campuses. We don't get that benefit as a charter school, so we have to bridge that gap. And that gap is bridged through the Gator Club and through the giving of the parents and the families that attend here. A lot of schools, when they think about cutting things out, the first thing they cut out are the extracurriculars. It could be art, it could be athletics, and I think that's a tragedy. I think, I just think that we've got to make sure at Gateway that we've got the resources to make sure our kids not only do well academically and get the resources they need academically, which is first and foremost, good teachers. You've got the resources you need, and then in addition to that, you've got some really cool extracurricular activities you can get involved in. And you know, that stuff's not cheap. It costs money for us to do that. And do you know that there are 43 charter school campuses from Georgetown to San Marcos? There are 43. And we are the only one that offers UIL extracurricular activities. I'm investing in our children's, you know, education, their welfare, their future well-being. And it's my goal uh, for them when, when they leave that they know that Lori and I have done that and participated in it. And they see that as a a critical part of their character. You know that you're you're investing in your child's future and another child's future. I feel like our kids, they feel like they're a family. They feel like even the high schoolers with the elementary students, they all mingle. So everyone pretty much knows each other. We all like each other. It's just a really cool environment to be in. Centered around being with people, so you don't really have a choice but to talk to people. I think that's also really great for building um, friendships and relations with other people. When I came here, I felt like everybody was a family, and you take in what you get from this school, and that's what I love about it.